Hi! Welcome back to my channel! Not forget to like, comment and subscribe before you go! Thank you! Take a photo. As I have mentioned on my other video, I have made another compilation of Wang Ron Z as he's one of my favorite second lead. And thankfully he is getting main roles now! Wang Ronzi was born on November 28, 1993, in Anhui, China. Height is 186 cm and his zodiac sign is Sagittarius. His parents divorced when he was very young and was raised by his grandmother. He is currently signed under Mango Entertainment. His debut drama is a supporting role in 2017 Campus Beauty 2. I initially saw him in Meteor Garden 2018 with Dylan Wang and Shen Wei. He acted as a chef named Tian Yi in this drama. Though he only appeared in a few episodes in this drama, I can't help but search him up after that. Then I saw him again while I was watching the series, A Little Thing Called Love, with Edward Lai and Angela Zhao. Wang acted as the second lead in this drama and is the stepbrother of the male lead, Edward Lai. The second lead syndrome is really strong here. With his cute and sheepish smile, he was able to capture my heart in this series. The cast was a bit young for my taste, but I think they did a fine job for this being so early on in their careers. It seems that it's that you get actors playing a character older than their actual age. You follow these characters into their early adulthood, which is a span of about 6 years throughout the 36 episodes, but I still find that a lot of the thoughts and actions they have, when they are around 22 years old is similar to their mindset when they were 16. There's not a whole lot of character development for anyone, except the female lead, and everyone has retained that immaturity they had when they were in high school. I'm giving them a high score just because they are too stinking cute, and I love the different relationships within their group dynamic. The thing that sort of rubbed me the wrong way in this production, was how they handled the female lead's physical transformation in order to fit in with society's standards of beauty, and to make her feel more worthy of the male lead. The drama is well paced, sweet and it pricks my high school heart. Honestly I was routing for the second lead, Wang Ronzi and female lead, Zhao Angela. But as the drama progresses, I can feel how genuine the male lead's love is. Also, I really love those sneaky moments just to be with your boyfriend slash girlfriend. He also is part of the 2019 medical action pack drama with Miles Wei and Ryan Zhang. This drama tells about three medical personnel from different backgrounds end up in the same aviation rescue team, thus starting a hot-blooded story about overcoming obstacles and saving lives. Wang seems to be busy in 2020 with dramas where he acted his main role in Youth Unprescribed in Eternal Love Reign, also not to mention his supporting roles in Youth You and Professional Single Series. The drama, Youth Unprescribed, it revolves around the campus life of group of new medical students, where they set out to find their own identity, reject labels, and pursue dreams. I was kind of hesitant to watch it as I thought the medical jargons would scare me. But luckily it didn't and I was able to watch it till end. The cast is good, uneven but still good. Love the way they try to match each guy to every girl in the other dorm. And most of all, it ends in every episode not a lot of cliffhangers. You will see the journey on how each guy ends up with their partner girl. It's not really a big drama with a lot of huge issues, but a refreshing, well-paced tale of young people who navigate through their medical student life. This drama invokes feelings of youth, of love and carefreeness, reminding the audience that regardless of their age, youth is a state of mind that ought to be constantly cultivated. Wang also appeared as a guest role in a drama which tackles a sensitive subject, a fight against COVID-19. He was a hospital employee in episode 5. For me, watching dramas is my escape from this pandemic. I usually watch those dramas far from reality and those that awakens old feelings. But this drama is really good, it will show you how medical staff and frontliners help one another against the virus. After watching episodes of this drama, I actually felt the pain of the characters. Losing your loved ones is not something that everyone would like to happen to them. This drama really shows the struggle, loss and feeling of hopelessness. Watching this drama made me even more thankful that in my country, 
we don't have enough cases and if there's a sudden rise, it's being contained properly by government. But that doesn't stop me from feeling depressed, and lonely for those who have been affected, and those are still experiencing it right now. I highly recommend this drama to see how serious this pandemic is not only in China but also around the world. Wang Ronzi starred as the second lead actor in the latest hit drama, Professional Single, in 2020. This drama also starred, China's little sister, Song Yi Ren and rising star, Aaron Dang. The title itself revolves around a male and female lead, who is supposed to be single for life because of their personalities and their uncommon belief regarding the opposite sex. The male lead is a straightforward, cool, wooden character and a genius in a specific field. The female lead actress is short, cute, and outgoing. Those scenes are especially cute, I feel like the drama just pack it all up mostly the end. It was in this drama, that I was actually hoping that he would get the girl but I can't deny that the chemistry between the two leads is sizzling hot. I noticed that Wang improved his acting here in comparison when he acted in, a little thing called love drama, back in 2019 and from Meteor Garden in 2018. I like the way he gazes at Irene's song every time he feels that she's bothered about something. That being said, I still really enjoyed this drama and I'm glad I watched it. Before the end of 2020, Wang managed to get the main role in the drama, Eternal Love Reign with Camille Hua. I'm just elated when I heard about this, because I was really hoping for him to get the girl ever since in the youth drama, a little thing called love. He will act as the dragon prince who saves the lives of mortals and ends up falling in love with a young girl. Because of his love for her, he gave her a special gift, his dragon scale. Soon after the young girl from the fishing village, but this dragon scale went missing. He went out looking for her for many years but still can't find her. Until after thousands of years, roaming the human world and when he was thinking of giving up, he saw the young girl again and that is where the exciting part begins. I haven't really watched the series yet but I'm inclined to watch it because this time Lang Rong Z will get his girl. I will really complain and cry my heart out, if he still won't get a happy ending. Thank God! They gave him a break, and hope this series will not disappoint. Have you watched this series? Comment down below and I would love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.